Ingram football. That last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, then they're making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got his man to the left. He's loose. The 30. Running inside the 20. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Florida. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Now we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly tune up that much yardage defenses are gonna have to get something figured out so the decision has been made and the coach Number will take the penalty they're lining up to away. kick it off and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker not going to get a return here they'll bring it out to the 25 as a kickoff sails through the back of the end zone Gets set, first down. Quarterback checking the play. Back to throw, it's Duncan. Quickly complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. You want to talk about aggressive or wacky? This head coach is keeping his offense on the field inside his own 30. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The defense denying a big play as we play three quarters. Florida, 28. UCLA, 14. They've changed ends of the field, now facing third down as they go back to work. Looking to throw, it's Duncan. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. And the Bruins are moving quickly down the field. They'll throw it on first down. 
Going to take a shot. Makes the catch. And to the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. Why not double the try total and go for two? He's looking to pass. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they trim more off of that lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Gators sending the offense back to work. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Keep it on the ground. The Gators pick up the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. The give to the back. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. Defense dropping into soft coverage. Just feeds the running back. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the stairs. Third and inches coming. Maybe the biggest play of the game. Wants to throw. It's Flagway. Oh, look out. The ball's free. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Dude, you're in such a great position. You got the lead. Clock's winding down. I got to put some drives together. The last thing I can do is give the ball back to the other team. Horrible fumble. Big-time costly mistake. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Rice. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Defense comes up with a really big stop there. That's nice. They don't give up the first down, so the clock keeps working. But they're on their own end of the field. They know this offense is going to start taking shots into the end zone. They better have some guys ready on the back end, ready to swat some balls away and make some plays. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. The Bruins have it with a first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires deep toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bruins. That is how it's done. In the clutch, in the big time, your offense comes up with a big drive, puts points on the board. Now you tell your kicker, go knock this PAT through, take the lead. Nice execution by this offense. And that extra point was good, and now they have the lead in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of those top 15 teams who did battle today.
NC State was relentless today in a road win that frankly wasn't even as close as the final score indicates. This was a vintage Wolfpack performance, one that really should instill confidence within this program. No cupcakes this week, fellas. This top 15 battle was much anticipated, and at least one side can say it's a game they'll savor for some time. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Second down coming up. Wants to pass it. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Gators! And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. To the air. It's Flagway. Nice catch for the two-point conversion. Gotta love the execution. Not easy to throw down here, but the quarterback made a good read, an accurate throw, and they come away with two points. They'll need to be very sound here. Limit this return and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. It bounds through the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position. Oh, look out! There he goes! And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. After ripping off a big chunk of yardage, you figure they're going to go right back after him. First and 10 from the 31. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. What a great job outside working that route. Not only did he get to the sticks to make sure he got the first down, but also was able to get himself out of bounds to stop the clock. You could not do that any better in a two-minute situation. Moves away as he feels pressure. Snags it! That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Looking to pass. It's Duncan. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, and it's in the holding zone. Let's get the call. And the Bruins trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Clear. Let's go. He's looking to throw. Now he's going to break the pocket. Easy completion on the shuffle. Tripped up for the tackle. And this defense is all over the quick game right now. They're up in possession, and they're tackling, and they're pursuing the football. Nice play on that one. On second down, looking again to throw. Into the end zone, it's caught for a touchdown. No time left on the clock, and they can tie it with the extra point or win it with two. What an unbelievable play. No time on the clock score. Now this place is going bananas, and it's decision time. I could go for two here. Go for the win at home, crowd behind me, or kick the PAT and go into overtime. Gutsy call to go for the deuce to try to win the game right here. Here's the snap, looking to throw. 
He's got it. They convert the two, and they take the lead here in the fourth. After the stumble earlier this year, a lot of people wrote this team off. People might be searching for spots on the bandwagon again now. 